Hi, welcome to Happy Reading with Darby G. I'm going to try to go really quickly through some storybooks um, that are my favorite that we have right now. And um, I'm going to start with an author. We also have one called Too Many Tomatoes. I don't have that handy, but it's also super cute. This is Eric Ode, and he's done both of these books. This is a paperback version. This is the hardback, of, um, which is the only version of Dan the Taxi Man we have. Um, but this Busy Trucks on the Go is great for the kiddos who are obsessed with trucks, like on West and West, and still kind of is. Um, all about the different trucks that the dad and the son see on their little adventure out. Um, and it, it does have the rhyming, it has rhyming text, which rhyming is great for kids because it can be an actual difficult concept for them to learn. Um, and then Dan the Taxi Man, he's going to the show, like the whole thing has this cadence of beep beep, it's Dan the Taxi Man. He's going to the show, picking up the band, climb inside while well, you still can, it's Dan the Taxi Man. It's like, here comes Maureen with her tambourine. Shake a shake crash, shake a shake crash. And every member of the band he picks up has a different sound like that, so your kid gets really into it um, as they get familiar with the book. Um, and then at the end, they get all the band members on stage and they realize that something's missing. Wait, it's Dan, the taxi man. So it's a super cute, and he actually makes a cameo appearance in here. Um, I didn't even realize that, but my son did. By this, it's the same author. Um, this is uh, Jez Albaro. It's the Gobble Gobble Moo Tractor book, brand new to our lineup, um, in, in our house, I mean, not, not as born. Um, but it's all about animals that get on um, a tractor and make all the sounds that they can do that sound like a tractor. Um, they do it together, so it's about teamwork, taking turns, and sharing. Um, and it's super cute and fun, and then there's like a double spread in here that um, is really fun. Weston actually likes to, he does all the animal noises, and then I read the other part pulls out like this and does all the animal noises but it's just fun to do together um, and then the same author and illustrator does super duck and um, it is all about this duck who tries to save the day when there's a problem and things kind of go awry but it's just a silly goofy um, story so if your kids into superheroes or just animals or stories in general this is super cute too I say super way too much, I'm sorry. Um, Animally, really quick, goes through, these are stiffer pages, so they're not um, pages you can easily tear. Um, every page says, I love you shyly like a quail, I love you cleverly like a fox, I love you powerfully like an ox. So there's rhyming, adverbs, great for adjectives um, and vocabulary building, cute animals. Um, and then at the end, this is the part that gets all of us parents out here. Um, it says, I, I love you, Birdly, bugly, animally. I love you so for you're my family. And that shows a very diverse family, which is great for a lot of families out there. Cuddle Bear is actually part of, of a fundraiser we do. Um, and if you need more information on that, I'm not gonna go into that right now because it's too much information. But um, this is Claire Friedman, which she does a lot of books, but it's bright, vibrant pictures um, all about how Cuddle Bear comes along and makes everybody happy. And this is a great feel good. If you have a child that's hitting or just being mean. This is a great under underlying theme of why it's great to be um, nice to people and make them feel good. Um, and then also that has, um, you can purchase a Cuddle Bear plush toy, which we have and Weston loves. Um, it's just so cute, feel good story. It's great for bedtime to cuddle up to. Um, we have lots of picture books that are called um, the Usborne picture books. So we have Snow White, um, and as well as Goldilocks and Jack and the Beanstalk and such. Um, these illustrations just blew me away. Like I wasn't expecting such pretty illustrations for such basic stories. Um, now these are the classic versions of the stories. They're not the Disneyized ones. So just know that going into it, they might be a little different from what you and your child are familiar with, but they are beautiful. And these are padded hardbacks. So it's just a high, high quality feel to it. These ones are our board books um, that are great for the littles and but also fun for when your child starts getting to the age where you ask them like what they want to be when they grow up. This one holds all um, lots of things like an astronaut, a spy, a deep sea diver, fighter pilot, um, and they say a deep sea diver, I'll dive to the ocean floor to explore shipwrecks, I'll discover sunken treasures and other precious bounty. So it kind of tells you what that person would do as that job. And then this book has um, the, same, the same format, but it's all about animal jobs, from a zookeeper to an animal rescue volunteer, exotic bird feeder, um, safari tour guide, a vet, um, what have you, and they're all board books, so the vibrant pictures are great to talk about for kids building their vocabulary, but also just fun for them to kind of imagine what they'll be. But these are the adventure books. These are the same characters that are in the chapter books for older kids, so it's fun to start them on these, and then later they'll be familiar characters. Um, it's Billy Bee and her friend Jack. 
they um, go on imaginary adventures in their preschool class. And it's just a fun way to look at the imaginary life of children, which we know our kids do every day in preschool and such. Um, the River, which was um, came out in March. This is brand new. Um, it has a cut through in all the pages with the hologram fish that swims through the whole book. And it's an epic journey about um, down river as he travels into meet up with his family. And the illustrations in this are so beautiful. Um, so much detail, beautiful color palettes. And then it's a poetic prose that tells you that story of migration and then how the fish ends up with his family. And there's some pretty um, glittery, shiny, if you can see that. I don't know if it shows it. There it goes. It's kind of showing it. Um, but it's such a pretty, pretty story, and it's um, also informational, which is a double yay for me. Um, really quick, The Tale of Two Beasts is a fun, fun story. It's from two different perspectives. Um, a little girl rescues a little strange beast and um, carries him safely home, but the beast is not happy and he escapes. So the first part of the book is her perspective, and the second is his. Um, it's just really fun illustrations, and um, it's a great book about friendship as well as how perspectives are always different. So there's always two sides to the story, um, which is great for older kids, but the little kids will enjoy it as well. Thanks so much, and happy reading.